Hello everyone, this is Alcabea the Analyst, and today, today, yes, I will be talking about Deshaun Watson struggling 7 on 7s, and I'm so happy we kept Jalen Hurts. This is Alcabea the Analyst. Of course, before I start this video, I have to say thank you. Thank you for all the wishes, wishing me congratulations on being married. Um, I thank y'all. I think uh, I, I thought I told you guys this. A lot of people come at me like, you didn't tell us you was getting married or you're married or anything like that. I, I thought I did. I thought I did plenty of times, but you know, you guys see it. I took the day. I usually don't take days off, but I did needed that one just to enjoy my wife and I catch up with the news later. And um, uh, I'm very happy, very excited for a new beginning. But let's get into the video. Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson, I'm hearing he's struggling. And I'm um, not sure why this not making the national media, but he's struggling the 707s. He's struggling to practice and um, throwing picks, all types of stuff. And this make me appreciate Jalen Hurts more, right? Um, not saying Deshaun Watson going to be trash during the season. Not saying any of that. But it do make you look at it with a side eye, like, oh, he did take a year off. Do he, do he possibly regress? Because even a year he had a good year without um, D Hop, he still only won four games. He still only won four games. So we're going to see if we can win more games. And um, Jalen Hurts, I think he's a competitor, a leader. A lot of people respect him. I think the locker room would have possibly been divided if we got Deshaun Watson. And also, if we would have got Deshaun Watson, there's no Jordan Davis on our team. There's no A.J. Brown on our team. There's no Jurgens on our team. And there's no Nicole Dean. We trade in the way our uh, first two, um, probably one of those first round picks. So maybe it's no Jordan Davis or no, well, probably no A.J. Brown. I, I I can guarantee it's no A.J. Brown. I can guarantee it's no N'Kobe Dean. And I can almost guarantee there's no Jurgens. And possibly when our fourth or fifth round picks are gone, right? To get a guy who's still trying to grow in his career, to get a guy who's possibly not going to take us to the Super Bowl, and to get a guy to come on an incomplete team. Now we are complete because we have so much capital and we barely paying the quarterback anything. So now you can add those pieces. And now when you look back, I'm so glad we kept Jalen Hurts. I'm so glad. Imagine him coming to the Eagles. He's throwing picks. He's struggling. He's not looking good at drills. You know what we said? We made a terrible decision. Howie Roseman, what's wrong with you? This is your fault. You shouldn't have traded those picks. It all falls on Howie. But Deshaun Watson's not here. It's going to be funny to watch the Cleveland Browns. If the Cleveland Browns don't make it to the playoffs or don't win a playoff game or two, don't get to the AFC Championship game, is it worth paying him all that money? I'm just saying. But I'm happy with the guy we got. I think he got a lot to prove. And if he's not good, you go into the following year, you have two first-round picks, and just grab a quarterback. But I think the method we went worked better than getting Deshaun Watson. I'm not, once again, I'm not sure why this not making national media, but he was struggling. He was struggling, man. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel? Do you think we should have still got Deshaun Watson? And, um... I can't wait to be back home, man. I will be home Saturday, and uh, we'll record this regular. Sick of the phone. <laughs> I'm very sick of the phone. But this is Alcabea, the analyst. Ghost.